the Eternal Tome finally has a competitor for the best piece of Warden equipment. Not really, I'm just joking. But things do get a little interesting with the fireball equipment that we just got. And in this video, I'm going to break down the stats, tell you whether or not this equipment is worth investing into, and then give you the best return on investment levels with proof. And that's really important because we all know how rare and powerful glowy ore is in the game right now. I mean, seriously, if you're going to go rob a bank or something, check to see if they have any glowy ore because you're going to need it. Really quickly before we continue, a lot of people were saying in the comments of yesterday's video that they actually wouldn't be investing into the fireball at all and I highly recommend against this. The reason is because if you don't invest into the fireball right now, you're going to be closing any doors you have in the future when it comes to the fireball equipment. A lot of things could change how the fireball is used. Things like how the pros are using the fireball, any future equipment that comes out that will actually potentiate the effects of the fireball, and of course any balance changes in the future that Supercell makes. Not investing into the fireball is a mistake that could potentially cost you 50 1500 gems in the future and thus is a mistake that I would avoid. Now let's go ahead and get into the analysis. Now first the stats of the fireball in a well organized chart that was made by yours truly. Nice. Okay, now I'm sure that you guys have already seen the stats for this equipment already, but let's go ahead and interpret them so that you guys can get something out of this video. The graph in the background shows you how the DPS scales as you upgrade this equipment, and to be honest, this is pretty underwhelming, something you'd probably see in middle school as an example of a linear graph. But this chart right here is what you want to take a look at. Now the scaling here looks crazy, right? It's almost like it's trying to climb Mount Everest, but how can this one simple fireball lead to such scaling? Well, let me explain. The intrigue of the fireball comes from the two very specific radius increases that we get both at level 9 and level 18, which are conveniently bolded already by me. Man, what a guy. But radius increase doesn't just mean a one tile increase, it's actually really more significant than that. As you can see in the background, after doing the math mentally in my head and not looking it up, I found that the total area of the fireball more than doubles when it has a radius of 6 compared to a radius of 4. Now clearly this was a really groundbreaking discovery and while I wait for my Nobel Prize, I decided to put all of this information into a chart. So I added a row onto the already beautiful chart and this is the total tile damage, which properly accounts for the increase in radius. Now this doesn't mean that the fireball is actually doing this much damage, it means that if all the buildings were one tile big, this is how much damage it would be doing. And after Graphing this by hand and definitely not using a computer, we get this graph right here which shows us the spike at level 9 and a pretty big spike at level 18. So guys, the all new epic equipment that's fiery hot scales a lot better than its frozen counterpart. Okay well that's great and everything, but in what situations are you actually going to use the fireball instead of other pieces of equipment? Oh my pretty hot. The Warden has typically always been seen as a support character in all of our attacks and the four pieces of equipment that we have for the Warden emphasizes this role. The Fireball lets the Warden focus on DPS instead and in any situation where you could need an extra damage dealer, it could be huge. Now some bigger YouTubers, yes, bigger than me, <laughs> I know it's hard to believe. But we've already seen some creative uses like the Earthquake and the Fireball as well as the Blimp strategy that uses the Eternal Tome and Fireball to get a more clear funnel. However, your boy has been cooking up a lot of ideas and this is what I came up with. First of all, I think the Warden, Eternal Tome and Fireball would be a really nice with a hero dive as you can use the Eternal Tome on the heroes and maybe their abilities while doing some major damage to an area and this should help out a lot with funneling. On top of this, when it comes to Warden walks, the combination of a maxed Rage Gem and maxed Fireball gives the Warden 61% more DPS than he would have when he is a max level, and this is no small amount. To give you a reference, that's the same DPS as a level 79 Barbarian King. But perhaps the biggest thing about this Warden equipment is what it does for another piece of equipment in the Blacksmith. I was literally so happy because of this, in fact, this is actual footage of me when I discovered that this is happening. Is the recording on? It is? Yeah. Oh my god, this is crazy. I can't believe this is coming, honestly. I'm definitely going to spend all the extra glowy ores that I have so much of on this piece of equipment. 
All jokes aside, I'm really interested to see how this piece of equipment can be used with the giant arrow. When dealing damage to the same buildings, these two equipment deal 1920 damage plus 4100 damage at max level, resulting in 6020 total damage. Now this takes out, and, and guys I've been dropping jokes all video, but I'm not joking right now, this takes out every building in the home village except for the town hall. And if you wanted to take the town hall out as well, you'd need to invest 3 earthquake spells. But instead of the earthquake spells, maybe you could use the earthquake boots. Now these 3 pieces of equipment would effectively destroy the town hall with no spell investment or no army investment at all. Now I'm not a pro player, I just cook from time to time, but if there are any pro players out there, do let me know if I'm cooking right now. Regardless, the theme is the same, we have a lot of equipments and spells that are starting to target damage and the more of these there are, the more we can experiment and find good ways to use them. However, not everything about the fireball is good, right? After all, it is the symbol for the Fire Nation. One of the biggest problems the fireball has is its synergy with other pieces of equipment. Sure, there are some cases where it gets away with being used with the Eternal Tome, but almost everyone knows at this point that the best use of the Eternal Tome is inside the core of a base. It's almost like it should have been named the internal tome. I'm sorry guys, I had to do it. Synergy is going to be a huge problem for the fireball moving forward and I think it's something that will hold a lot of players back from upgrading this equipment. Especially when the internal tome is as good as it is and it has perfect synergy with all the other warden equipment. For those of you that want the ability to completely bomb out parts of the base, you should know that there are some optimal levels that you should get your fireball to. You might already guess that these levels are level 9 and level 18 but I have some numbers to back it up with this chart right here. This chart shows the percentage of total benefit you get compared to the percentage of total investments that you put in. As you guys can see at level 9 you already get 25% of the total effect while only investing 11% of the shiny ore, 8% of the glowy ore, and 2% of the starry ore required to max. If you go to level 18 you get 80% of the total effect while only investing half of the shiny ore and glowy ore and 23% of the total starry ore. Therefore, if you're going to invest in this equipment, either get it to level 9 or level 18 with a preference for level 18. But I know most of you are going to ask whether or not I recommend upgrading this equipment, so here is my take on it. Currently, we know that this equipment has tremendous potential, but we don't know what it looks like in practice and it isn't really meshing together with the strategies that already exist. Furthermore, it is no surprise that there is a shortage of glowy ore in the game right now for all players. And I think if you're going to invest your glowy ores, it needs to be on an equipment that you're going to use in every single attack. Thus, I wouldn't fully invest into the fireball until a meta develops or until you have all of the equipments that are on screen right now fully maxed, except for the frozen arrow of course, where you should stop upgrading at level 9. If you have all of these pieces maxed however, I don't think it's a big problem to go ahead and invest into the fireball, because at the end of the day, you might be surprised where a little bit of fire could be able to take you. <laughs> okay guys, look, you see this? This is me right here. And this happened because I spent way too long on the Super Dragon event. And if you don't want to spend all week on the Super Dragon event or not get the optimal rewards from the event itself, then you should watch this video right here. Because trust me guys, this back here, this is not worth it. I'm out here and I'm fasting and stuff too. <laughs> this is not it.